Hi guys, thanks for stopping by Willie Boltman's channel. Well, right now I have a, yeah, it's just one of those days. Sorry, I'm in just a little t-shirt. Just got off from Thorzak's. Dave, I had a great time talking with you. Thank you for giving me a call. But I got this cartridge, 25-06. I no longer have the rifle anymore. So I pulled 100 casings apart that I had loaded for years. And I could have popped them out my OT6 and had that 25 caliber bullet bouncing down my 30 cal barrel just to fire form them. But I said, screw it. So I pulled the bullets, saved the powder, saving the primers also. So what I'm doing is converting them to 308. And how I'm doing that is with my, excuse me, Harbor Freight chop saw. And I'm hacking the neck right off. So I'm going to reform this into 308. After I hack all these heads off, I am going to anneal them with my uh, James Pollard machine, the Pollard machine that he made for me. And I appreciate that very much. And uh, let's see what goes on. Let me see if I can get this out of my way so you can see what the hell I'm trying to do. Excuse the mess everywhere. Can you see? I don't know. Let me bring you down a little bit. I'll try to zoom you in. Will it allow me to zoom you in? Nope, they won't. So let's bring it in a little closer. Can you see it? Yeah, up oh, down here. So let's bring it down now. There we go. So let's rock out. <laughs> all I'm doing is knocking the neck off and then I'll use my RCBS case prep center to take the burrs off of here then I will reform it into 308 which I'll show you in a second and then I'll anneal them so let me keep chopping these little rat bastards apart and uh, I'll show you what's going on next I figured I'd show you guys a little bit more The horror, the horror, chopping brand new once fired brass. And that's what it does. Takes it right off, clean it up. Be a 308 piece of brass before you know it. Okay, here comes step four. I'm going to convert this. 25 out 6 case into a 308 and what I'm using is a full length sizing die imperial sizing wax and this is going to knock the primer out of course which I want anyways because I'm going to reuse these primers and convert it right to a 308 case that I got to trim do the primer flash hole and do all the works to it you know make it into a nice 308 case i will double check the overall length but i've already done this once and they worked out fine by just chopping the necks off i'll use my world's cheapest trimmer to uh trim it up and just that easy so i'll just let you guys watch how i do this a couple of times there goes the primer which i want to save because i want to reuse because there's nothing wrong with them just gotta get that one there we go just that easy to convert one piece of brass to something else you know it's gonna be easy peasy for me I know most people are thinking may this a waste of brass and stuff like that but when you don't have the money to be spending on brand new brass and this is basically brand new brass once fired in 25 out six so I'll get plenty of firings out of these. I am going to anneal them after this, after I clean them all off, a little acetone to get all the imperial sizing wax off. Then I will anneal them. Actually, I'll trim them. Then I'll anneal them. And then I'll put the primers back in and it'll be all done. So this is what I'm going to be doing for a little bit. Thanks, guys. Okay, here's step four. World's cheapest trimmer. 
just trims it off just a little bit where I need it to be. And if I get a long one, then it'll bite in. That's no fun when that happens. Sometimes, like that one, I left it a little long. It's gonna slide around on my fingers. That's why the fingers are getting all dirty. This is where I tore my fingers last time. Sometimes it bites in, there we go. Just like that, and it cuts it. Then I'll go right back to the RCBS case, case prep center and go from there. All you gotta do on this one, on the world's cheapest trimmer, you got a little Allen screw right here, you loosen up. It has a little end mill in sight, so you can rotate this in and out. You set your overall length you want, and you just trim it, and it'll trim the cases. Like a lot of these don't even need to be trimmed. I cut them right at the border 2005. I think it is. Yep. Every once in a while I get a long one and it bites a hold of it. So I'm right at minimum right now. And you know how 308 grows. So it won't be too long and I'll be trimming these again. But next after here is going to the annealing machine that I got to get down and plug in. And there we go. Got one right here. There's a long one. Sometimes it gets bite. There we go. There we go. It just trimmed it right down. Perfecto. Absolutely. And then I got to go through and inspect. I found one with a split neck. So I'm glad I found. Here's another long one. And there you go. Trims it up nice. Nice and flush. And I go over to the case prep center. Knock the burrs down again on the inside and outside of the neck. Then I'm going to do the primer pocket. Then I'll anneal them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that first before I anneal them. Annealing will be last. Actually, putting primers back in and loading them will be actually last. But it's okay. I'm finally using casings that I've had no use for until now. And don't get me wrong, I've converted a lot of these 25-06 back over to 30-06. And that's fun. Boy, that's fun doing. Swelling that neck back up. But if you take your time and do it right, you won't split the necks. Another long one. Freaking arthritis kills me, man. My, my freaking hands are horrible. There we go. There you go. Cuts it right down. Make sure I did these. Yep. These three are the last ones. I just cleaned all the case lube off them. And then I found I had one I didn't do. So I got to do this one next. I'm going to full length size it and go from there. Thanks guys for watching. Well, right now I'm actually on the Uncle Jim show and I'm converting my brass still. Woo Got my RCBS case prep center right here. And uh, just doing that. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can flip it around. Now I'm annealing the brass. This is the last step of converting from 25 out 6 to 308. Perfect anneal right there. Looks perfect. Right there. I got a little mark on it for the time. Just works perfecto. Just that easy. This way here, the brass will be all new, annealed, and I'll be able to use it in the caliber I have. I no longer have the 25-06, so 308 I do have in an AR-10 and the bolt gun. So this way here, the brass will be good to go. And that's pretty much the end of the video. Right there. 
So thanks for watching guys. That's how I convert brass that I no longer need to brass that I do need. Thanks for watching.